Hi, my name is Steve Stahl, and um, I'd like to talk to you about the new Prescriber's Guide, 7th edition. And if you'd ask who's going to benefit from the new book, and the answer would be anybody who wants to be up to date, because things change rapidly. There's nine new drugs, there's new formulations, uh, transdermal, injectable, there's uh, refreshed regulations on essentially every drug that are sometimes minor but can apply to a whole class of drugs that has to be changed each edition. And uh, with this edition we did, we went through and refreshed all the tips and pearls. So they're brand spanking new and fresh for you. So it's a uh, way to keep up. You, progress goes in the field, you know, marches on. You got to keep up with new editions, I guess. The Prescriber's Guide is essential reading because People who are actually prescribing drugs need to check what's most current, and all of us, including me writing the book, uh, don't necessarily recall the details of everything. And so it's good to have a you know ready access reference source so that you can check the facts and make sure you do it right. Let me give you an hors d'oeuvre or an appetizer about what's new in the book. For example, one of the drugs that's causing a lot of excitement in our field is a neuroactive steroid called brexanolone. Now, that one's in the book because it's available, at least in the United States, and I think in the UK and maybe other places, and it's an infusion for postpartum depression. A sister of that drug is oral, and it's called xaranolone, and it's also in development, but it's not in the book because we only have approved drugs in the book. Another idea is uh, a drug called uh, Caplita. That's the trade name. The uh, generic name is Lumateperone. And this drug is approved for schizophrenia uh, since the last time the book was written. Furthermore, there's some late breaking news on this drug for bipolar depression. It's not yet officially approved by the FDA, but um, there are positive trials and it is at the FDA and the information about those trials is included. So those are just a little bit of ideas of how we're keeping you right up to the cutting edge. And that's why we have to actually revise the book every two to three years because the field moves so fast, the older versions become obsolete uh, fairly quickly.